Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be a fall favorites video since fall is pretty much here. I decided to share with you guys some of my favorite makeup items for fall. Fall isn't really my favorite season um, but I feel like there are a lot of colors that are great for fall that I have that I wanted to share just as far as cosmetics like nail polish and makeup so excuse me if I'm a little off today in my um, viewfinder or the screen whatever you want to call it um I'm looking a little cricket so crooked so I don't know if that's really how I'm coming off I got a new tripod so I'm still having to learn how to work it but uh, let's get started so um what I am wearing today to me is a great fall color. It is um, Dosa Colors Chocolate Wasted. This is only my second time wearing this lipstick. But I feel like it is great for fall. It's a nice dark brown. And it is a matte finish. And it is a liquid lipstick. Hopefully, I know you guys can see my blue tongue. I was drinking a blue raspberry um, slushy. So hopefully my teeth aren't still blue. I tried to rinse them and floss. So hopefully they're not that blue. Sorry guys. <laughs> but anyways, I think this is a great color for fall. Um, it's a nice different color. It's a very dark brown. It's not like a... A soft brown or anything like that it is definitely dark it is definitely a chocolate brown I love it I think it's great for all skin tones especially um, darker skin tones and when I say darker skin tones I don't just mean women of color I mean like really tan Caucasian women this is a great color I think it looks great on any skin tone but I think if you have a lot of um, color to your tone this looks great on you so this is awesome and this is Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in the shade Chocolate Wasted and this is awesome. And I, I guess I shouldn't really say it's awesome because I've only worn it twice but I'll say that I feel like this is a great color for fall. Moving on to the next shade. I have, um, let's see, Stone by MAC. This is just like this is an odd color to describe. I'll swatch it on my hand. It's a very odd color to describe, but it's kind of like a taupey. I don't know if you guys can really see that, but it's kind of like a taupey grayish color almost. Um, to me, it's great for fall as well because it's because of like the taupeish brownish undertone to it is great for fall it's a nice subtle um different color and it's a matte as well and it's just it's different and i think that it, it goes great with browner skin tones or, or not so much i don't want to say browner skin tones because it looks great on any kind of skin tone i feel like it looks odd on me i just haven't figured out how to pair it how to wear it yet but it is a very pretty taupey grayish color great for fall um the next color that i have is um limbo by ColourPop, and this is just a lighter brown if you guys can see i don't wear this so i'm sure like the the ingredients have separated so i'm just going to try and shake it which you probably shouldn't do but i'm gonna do it anyway because it's mine i can do what i want to do with it but it's just like a, a lighter brown. It's not as dark as um, chocolate wasted, but it's still like a brown brown. And I'm just going to swatch it for you guys next to stone. So that's Limbo by ColourPop. And that's what it looks like. It's a pretty brown. Um, it's not as, oh, since I'll, I'll swatch um, the chocolate wasted as well. So you guys can see it. This is chocolate wasted down here. So, um, so yeah. So you can see the difference. They look 
pretty similar but chocolate wasted is definitely deeper that's chocolate wasted and that's limbo and that's stone right there so hopefully you guys can see I don't really like to do swatches on my channel because I need a new camera I need a, a better camera and I feel like it's not going to be true to color so but limbo is a nice brown too I think browns are great in fall because you know fall time is when the dark browns light browns dark orange mustard yellow dark reds dark burgundies you know that's when those colors flourish the most blues and stuff like that so I feel like any brown is great for fall I mean come on fall is like neutral color time so I feel like any brown in fall time will work great so next I'm gonna step it up go to a little bit more color this is max uh, evening rendezvous this I forget what collection this was the purple collection I forget what collection this was I think it was like um, it came out last year like the end of last year or was it the beginning of this year I don't remember but um, this is evening rendezvous and this is like a wine like a berry type color I'll swatch it here So it's like a berry color. Um, this is, I think, I feel like this is great for fall. It's, it's still pretty. It still has a little pop to it, but it's also very subtle on the lips. I've worn this one time, dyed to have it one time. It's very subtle on the lips. I feel like it's great for fall. Nice. Um, it looked more burgundy on my lips when I wore it, but it looks more purpley on my hand, but it's great. Great for fall. You could pair it with a darker lip liner to just deepen it up a little bit more in the fall time. And then in the winter, you could just wear it without a lip liner. So the next color I'm going completely left. I feel like this is Max Ruby Woo. I feel like Ruby Woo is, I feel like Ruby Woo is a great color to wear any time of the year. Most people may say it's better for summer because it's such a bold red. But I feel like it's great any time of the year. Super duper dry. So I'm going to have to do a couple swipes to that. But that, there you go. I feel like the camera's not really doing it any justice. Let's see if I can get it a little deeper. But, I mean, we all know all makeup junkies out there know uh, what Ruby Woo is all about. It's just a classic matte red. And basically all the lips that I've shown you are matte. Yeah, Limbo was the ultra matte. And Chocolate Wasted was the matte. And all the MAC lipsticks I showed you were matte. So these are the colors that I think are great for fall. I don't care. I feel like Ruby Woo is great year round. I feel like a nice bold red lip is great year round. It just all depends on how you pair it. Like you could pair it with a dark eye or a neutral eye for the fall time. But I feel like it's great year round. So moving on to eyeshadow palettes or eyeshadows. The Carly Bible palette. I feel like this palette is such a great palette for fall. This palette, it, can, it is so versatile. It has so many different shades and I feel like... With this palette, she was thinking of women of all different, you know, shades, all different walks of life. Because you can literally, I mean, look at the highlighters. There's highlighters for different skin tones. There's the darkest highlight, highlighter shade for like the darkest, the richest skin tone. And then there's one for like a medium skin tone. And there's one, and then there's some for fairer skin tones. Um, I used this one to highlight and it was great. So I feel like this palette let me do something about this mirror i feel like this palette is great um i feel like this is a really good palette for like if you're doing a bridal look a wedding look this is a great palette it has so many neutral colors and it has a couple pops of color so that you can switch the look up i feel like this is a great palette and because of the browns well there's like one deep brown in it and then there's some shimmery golds some like peakish Kind of like pinkish golds 
and then a few matte shades. I feel like this is great for fall. You can create different looks for the fall time, especially with these two. These two shades here, I feel like they are great fall shades. Um, I also feel like I forgot to grab this. I'm sorry, guys. I also feel like the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette is a great fall palette too. I mean, come on. Look at the colors. Those are great fall colors. Especially over in this area. Great fall colors. You can use those to create so many different looks. I feel like this whole palette is great for fall. Um, you could create so many different looks from these two palettes alone. So I think they're great. Um... I also wanted to show you guys this e.l.f. blush palette, the dark one. Yeah, this is dark. This is a great palette. This has some great fall blush colors too, especially this darker burgundy one, this deeper one. I don't know if you want to call that burgundy or just a deep red. Um, I feel like these are all great, especially this shade. Oops tap my finger especially this shade but I feel like this whole palette would be great for fall like you could just pull this one out and drop this on top of your vanity or your go-to space and just use this all season long because these are all great colors I feel like all four of these colors can work well with any type of look for fall next I'm going to move on to nail polish as you guys know that I always have my nails on and I love nail polishes I have a nail polish collection so I decided to show you some great um, nail polishes that I like to wear in the fall time and I usually only wear in the fall time so the first one is by Essie and it is Dancel in a dress and it is like this deep burgundy with like a little bit of um a little tint of silver in it almost I don't know if you guys can tell but this is great this is like a dark burgundy like I could just picture myself I think last year I definitely picture myself wearing this in Thanksgiving and like you guys have heard me say before I wear whatever I want whenever I want I don't care if it's meant for fall or not I'm gonna wear it anyways but I feel like these are great colors if you're one of those type of people that like to stick with certain colors at certain times of the year I feel like these are great colors for fall I feel like red is an awesome color for fall especially like a deep red and this is like a glittery deep red and this is by um, Sally Hansen and this is called red carpet and it's just red with glitter in it yeah red glitter and it is so pretty and this may be more fit for like Christmas with the glitters and stuff, but okay. You can still rock this for like, ah, excuse me. <laughs> you can still rock this for like Thanksgiving or something like that. And then I just have a gold. I just have a classic little bronzy gold um, nail polish. This is by L'Oreal and it's called Because You're Worth It. I feel like gold definitely goes in fall. So I feel like this is a great go-to polish as well. And that is pretty much it of what I had to show you guys as far as my fall favorites when it comes to like beauty and cosmetics. And I just want you guys to see how these liquid lipsticks have dried. This one up top is Limbo by Colourpop. And this one down at the bottom is uh, Chocolate Wasted by Dose of Colors. And they've already this video. Dried. If you have any well, other fall favorites that you like that are a little different or any fall favorites that I share that you enjoy using during the fall make sure that you let me know down below um if you guys are actually youtubers that's watching this video do a fall favorites video as well and just share with me some of the things that you like in fall time um I would love to see it so, um, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for staying with me. No, I did not upload this past Monday. I just was like experiencing some creator block. So, I decided to come back and make sure that I get up for you guys today. So, thank you guys so much for sticking with me. Thank you for watching and 
Don't forget to rate, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much. I want to try to get to 500 by the end of the year. I'm, um, I'm going to give myself the end of the year. I don't want to get my hopes too far up. But hopefully I get to 500 subscribers by the end of this year, you guys. So, wish me luck with that. But anyways, thank you guys so much. And until next time, be beautiful.